Hello, my name is Kent Riske, R-I-E-S-K-E. I have a Bachelor of Science degree and I've written two books about diet and health matters. My first book describes how I reversed my heart disease. It's called Reversing Heart Disease and Preventing Diabetes. And let me show you the back side. You can find more information at exaltpublishing.com. E X A L T publishing.com. Let me show you my other book before we get started. This book is titled Absolute Truth Exposed, Volume 1, but it deals mainly with autoimmune diseases. Autoimmune diseases uh, can be treated with diet and supplements and so on, and I explain this in the book. Today I want to talk about fruit and fruit juices. Uh, we know that Fruit and vegetables are recommended by the gov U.S. government agencies, uh, all kinds of uh, health organizations, diet gurus, books, movies, everything says eat lots of fruits and vegetables. So today I want to talk about fruit and fruit juices. Well first, <clears throat> the calories from fruit and fruit juices uh, are all sugar. Uh, now sugars, we're familiar with table sugar, white granular table sugar. It is composed of fructose and glucose and table sugar is called sucrose. So fruit and fruit juices contain fructose and glucose exactly like the table sugar except they also have uh, free fructose and often the glucose and the fructose are, are free sugars. Any of these uh, sugars end with the letters OSE classified as sugars. So let's talk about that. So we're told to eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Okay. Uh, how do we digest uh, the sugar in fruit and fruit juices? Well, it goes into the small intestines where the glucose and the fructose are separated because they have a very weak uh, valent bond. And there's also free glucose and free fructose. Uh, these are absorbed in the small intestines and, and go to the liver. Uh, we're going to concentrate on the fructose. The fructose goes directly to the liver. Now, if you give your blood test, look on it and see what your fructo fructose reading was. Well, surprise, it's not there. You see, you don't have uh, fructose circulating freely throughout your body in your blood like you do glucose. This is because fructose goes directly to the liver where the liver metabolizes it into fatty acids and it combines uh, the fatty acids which are monounsaturated fats and saturated fats into triglycerides. Triglyceride is three fatty acids connected with the glycerol molecule. Okay, so what have we done here? You drink a bottle of orange juice, grape juice, apple juice, whatever, and before you can swallow, your liver has changed it into fat. They don't tell you that, do they? So look on your blood test report at your triglycerides. This is the fat in your blood. So I see vegetarians complain. I eat a really low fat diet. I hardly eat any fat and my triglycerides are off the scale. 
It's like, that's right. All of the fructose you've been eating was converted to fat. So let me show you a close-up here of a diagram. I'm only giving you this diagram because people would think that what I'm telling you is flat-out lie. So here we have a diagram. This is science. I'm a science major. So let's forget all the propaganda and stick to the science, okay? Now when you eat fruit and drink fruit juices, uh, all of the calories, remember, are sugars. Glucose, fructose. So the glucose goes into your blood. The body reacts to that because it's very sensitive to glucose by uh, producing insulin. Insulin is necessary for that glucose to be uh, processed in the cells. It cannot enter the cells uh, to give you energy and so on without insulin. So we have insulin, glucose, and, and triglycerides in the blood after we eat fruit and drink fructose. Those are three of the primary risk factors for heart disease. That's right, you were surprised. They didn't tell you that fructose is a primary risk factor for heart disease. So, uh, we have another problem. In the liver, when the liver converts fructose to fat, uh, we have a problem. We have fat buildup in the liver. So let me show you a diagram or picture of the fat cells in the liver. When this happens, we have fatty liver disease. This is called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It can build up to the point where it's life-threatening. So the liver converts fructose to fat and the fat builds up in the liver and then the liver uh, does discharge the fat, triglycerides, they go throughout the bloodstream and so on. It ends up as body fat uh, it can also be used in the cells for energy. So, uh, fructose definitely causes diseases. Now, the liver, after uh, having fatty liver disease, it becomes inflamed. And the inflammation can eventually uh, turn to cancer. And that is one of the primary causes for liver cancer. So... What do we have? We have three things going on here. The fructose can cause fatty liver disease, which can kill you. It can cause cancer of the liver. It can cause uh, fats, excessive amount of fats in the blood, which are risk factor for heart disease. Plugs up your arteries. Now, there's other problems. Let's say you don't digest your fructose very well. So the fructose goes from the small intestines into the colon. Now this is more common than people think. When it gets to the colon, it can cause fermentation in the colon. It uh, breeds pathogenic bacteria, yeast, yeast fungi. Um, pediatricians caution mothers about giving babies too much fruit juice because it causes diarrhea. So, uh, fruit juice is problematic for many people. So, in the colon, it can cause disease there too. It can cause diverticula, diverticulitis, appendicitis, you get infection in your appendix, uh, you get uh, pathogenic bacteria, which causes problems, uh, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, cancer. So, 
Uh, should you go to the store and just load up your cart with uh, fruits and vegetables and fruit juices? Well, no, that's not really a good idea. Fruit does not contain any amino acids or fatty acids in itself. But these are essential in the human diet. Amino acids are derived primarily from protein, from meat, and so on. Proteins in grains and beans, legumes. But uh, all of the uh, calories in fruits and vegetables is just sugar. So what's the difference between the, the calories in fruits and vegetables and table sugar and high fructose corn syrup? No difference. The body doesn't have a clue that there's a difference. It's fructose and glucose. There is strong scientific evidence that links fructose with diabetes. We know this because researchers for decades have given uh, test animals such as dogs fructose to induce diabetes for their research. Diabetes also leads to heart disease. We know that 65% of diabetics eventually die from heart disease. Also, stroke is a primary factor and cancer may be involved as well. So to sum up the problems with fructose in the diet, we can see it may cause, I think it does cause, fatty liver disease. That leads to liver cancer and can lead to death without the cancer. We know it causes digestive problems many diseases in the digestive system. It's involved in diabetes and it's also involved in heart disease. So fruits are not the innocent little wonderful food that you buy at the supermarket. Fruit is basically sugar. Fruit juices are worse because it's concentrated. People who drink fruit juice instead of water will eventually suffer severe health problems. We go to the doctor, he has us uh, have our blood drawn for blood test report. A person who's on the low carbohydrate diet and who is eating 70% fat in the diet will get a report back with the triglycerides certainly below 100, and I have seen as low as 45. On the other hand, a person who doesn't eat saturated fat, avoids all animal fats, and eats a lot of fruits and vegetables, they get their blood test back, and their triglycerides are 1,200. So a gentleman wrote to me, he was on his doctor's diet. His triglycerides were 1,200. He purchased my book on heart disease. He started the diet. A few weeks later, he had his blood tested again. His triglycerides had dropped to 200. And if he's on the diet a few weeks more, his triglycerides will be below 100. The U.S. government has the Institute of Health, the Food and Drug Administration, and the Department of Agriculture. Their information is very unscientific. So it seems that the higher up you go uh, in these prestigious organizations, the more unscientific the information becomes. So that's all I have for you today. I thank you very much for watching the video and have a good day. Goodbye.